Hey Aries, welcome to your general love read. This is for February 14th through the 20th. However, time is fluid. So whenever you come to this, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. All right, this is a general reading. Roles can be reversed. I could be picking up on third party information. Third party could mean anyone that is interfering. Okay, it may not all resonate for you. Just take as a general what feels light and leave the rest, okay? I will start off by pulling for the collective here, okay? And that way, even if the rest of it is not for you, you have gotten some sort of advice from spirit, okay, out of it. I am an intuitive, and so some of what you may hear from the cards may not feel like traditional tarot. Okay, so again, just take what feels light and leave the rest. Everything that you need is down below, including um, extendeds are available on Patreon or Vimeo. So you can either get the full on membership or you can go rent it as a one off. It's up to you. Okay, for the collective, all right, we get create and we get the red chakra. Okay, passion is definitely part of that um, creative energy. And create also is that Ace of Wands, okay, sort of energy in this oracle, oracle, oracle. Um, but it is this movement forward and coming from a place where you really can create anything you desire, right? <coughs> Someone I feel needs to hear this. Um, this is the quote on the red chakra. Maybe you are searching among the branches for what appears in the roots. Okay, so it might be kind of showcasing to you that you might be looking in the wrong direction. All right. Intention for this reading. Letting go. Very emotional letting go as well because it comes out with sorrow. And sorrow is that, I mean, we've, it's the Eight of Cups here with the, I'm gonna say that the filling of the card today, the Nine of Sorrow today, feels more like it is Nine of Swords because the windows open, there is a path forward. Somebody just is choosing not to take it. And so coming in with this Eight of Cups, this letting go energy, either you could be dealing with someone that is choosing not to take their own path forward, or you are not choosing. Either way, we do have, all right, the seeking of guidance here, the moving through energies, through that creative energy to determine, like, where am I going? What am I doing? Bottom of the deck is the Empress. So there is a, a path forward for you should you choose to take it so overview energy here okay we've got the magician so there is this leap forward and manifestation that is taking place okay and in the past it may have been much easier because in the past there was a lot of communication. There was a lot of guidance and direction for where you thought you wanted to go or felt you wanted to go. Okay, current energy here. Whoever this is, you do have a lot of love for them. It's not that you're setting off because you don't love them, but they're closed off. Okay, this person is closed off Aries. They're not offering you the energy to feel your cup and you know it's funny like this manta ray that's kind of coming through as being sort of in the middle of this um this crab and the queen of cups is kind of like oh no kind of reminds me i don't know if you guys remember mr bill or if you are young and you're We'll, we'll say your uh, older cousins instead of your um, aunts and uncles. Maybe your older cousins have taught you about Mr. Real. But there's this, somebody is in the mix here, okay, that's just like, 
lighthearted, okay? Trying to block the closed off crab from moving forward to you. And it's almost as if you're not paying attention to any of the nonsense. You're like, I'm not paying attention to you. I'm not paying attention to you, okay? I am paying attention to me. I am moving forward for me right now, okay? Creating for me. The future energy here, okay? King of Wands in reverse. So there could definitely be this energy of someone is out, okay? Like they say on uh, Project Won't Runway, okay? One day you're out, <laughs> one day you're in, the next day you're out, right? So someone is out. So let's clarify. The Magician here, okay? Five of Swords in reverse. You could be trying to figure out how you move ahead from the energy that had really disappointed, perhaps pulled you into a lot of depression. Okay, yeah, crossed here by the Page of Cups. You do want new love. Like, this gal here, all right, is trying to slip free of the soul contract here, trying to move forward. And I am really recognizing, okay, that on this they are showing that there are six moons, okay, back here behind this person. Um, there's technically seven if you fit, if you consider the illumination around them. All right, so this could be something that has been going on for, I mean, you hear that a lot, like in stories, like in Six Moons, right? Um, something that was going on for quite some time that just wasn't heading anywhere. And you weren't getting that illumination from them, so you're illuminating yourself. And there we have it, the moon. Okay, you're using this time to be reflective of your own emotions, to be reflective of your own direction. And you may even be trying to make the path forward without taking part in the emotional space of it. Um, of course, in order to balance out whatever you're manifesting, you will have to take into some sort of consideration for the emotions associated with it if you want true balance of the alchemy. But at least for now, you're not going into it. Okay. In the past here, yeah, there's that eight of or that ace of wands, okay? There's that creation. Trying to create the happiness, all right, from something that was very passionate here. Okay. And it may have been very passionate communication or just the communication created a lot of passion within you. Yeah, it was a lot of lessons for you. Five of Wands. Okay, a lot of lessons that perhaps they're really showcasing to me here that we've got it almost looks like we've got one feminine, okay, with many masculines here. So I almost feel like it was lessons of the heart, finally being able to um, let go, where in the past maybe you were overridden, okay, be you feminine or masculine, doesn't matter, just being overridden by love in the past, and you rose up, okay? Here's this warrior rising up, holding on to the one wand, even though this is the six of wands, okay? Rising up with the passion and the creation of my own happiness, okay? Winning the war, so to speak. 
Okay, in the current energy here. Okay, again, someone may be coming back in to love bomb. All right, eight of wands crossing here on the queen of cups. And it's coming down in the winter. Okay, so it may be met with uh, cold intentions here. Yeah, four of pentacles. Someone's resisting from taking the taking the bait, so to speak. Hiding from this energy, allowing this you know, this great bird to come in and to protect, okay, from the emotional, the energetic connection here. Seven of Pentacles. I feel that it's giving this passion time to grow within this person. Time for them to figure out what on earth it is that they actually want. King of Wands, future energy. Okay, clarified here by the Wheel of Fortune. We've got, all right, my totem is Mother Spider. And we've got um, what could be Grandmother or Grandfather father Spider here. But regardless, creating this web, spinning this web, okay, from within, okay, and this person, this King of Wands, could be within themselves, spinning their own web of what they think happened here, okay, which could be why they are in the reverse. Yeah, they could be focusing here, okay, pushing this aside and saying, fine, then I will just focus on what I have around me that works. Um, could be someone that's as interested in monetary things as this person is. And here with temperance though, this person can try, I feel like to outrun this, but your boundaries, setting your boundaries has not only really opened up this person's heart to the connection, but even without them recognizing or accepting it, you can see they are in the emotions now. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify a little deeper. Tell me about Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going to have some sort of a choice here. Even though... Um, it may be something that I feel was arranged, okay, in order to, you know, maybe it's a blind date to get your mind out of all of this. Uh, yeah, King of Swords in reverse, Ace of Swords in the upright. I feel like people are trying to get you to see that there's more to this. But emotionally, okay, you, you're not going to connect with whoever this new person is. Like the shadows, the wounds are still too deep. You're still not opening up to any sort of emotional connection. It's just all trying to alleviate, okay, the past. On the moon here, clarified by Justice, Page of Pentacles. This person energetically, okay, still has a hold on you, still keeping you from moving forward. You are still deeply connected to them. And you're waiting for some sort of justice here. That it's like you're waiting for them to see everything that they missed out on. All right? By not, by not partaking is what Spirit's saying. Two of Wands, yeah, to realize that they let themselves be stuck in time while you moved on, okay? 
they chose the path that was old, comfortable, and you are in the energy of moving forward, taking advantage of new possibilities, even though you're not quite emotionally ready, which is probably good because you don't want to just throw yourself into the next best thing, right? Okay, here in the past, I feel like as this person was spinning this web for you, or you were spinning your own web here, okay, this, all of this happiness that was being created from all of this connection, it was like it stopped your world, all right? And there we have the moon again. It stopped your world and it had you consider everything that had gotten you to this place, okay? Who am I? What do I want out of life? Why am I intrigued by this person? Okay. You suddenly had a clarity of what was missing in your life. And I feel like when you walked ahead away from this, you in your head, you were moving forward but you were clearing out emotions, but you left parts of yourself with this person. <coughs> okay, six of wands with three of wands in reverse. All right. You felt like you won. You felt like you made you took the right actions and I feel like you did, but I really don't think that you, you know, made a grand leaving of this person. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You could have left the door somehow open in hopes that this person would get over whatever this obsession is, okay, with the monetary and find love and come find you. So current energy, love bombs, 10 of swords. My life is miserable without you. Okay, Aries, my life is awful without you. Four of cups. I spend so much time in my head thinking about you instead of enjoying life because I miss you, okay? I could even be numbing without you. Nine of Pentacles. Everything I'm creating, I'm creating for you, all right? But here on the Four of Cups, or, or the Four of Pentacles, I, I mean, you're hiding because you know that this person Okay, Six of Pentacles is probably still giving to more than just you. Yeah, and this person, they're not really offering you anything different. Knight of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, they're just trying to package it up differently. Okay, but no, it's not any different. So what you hope for them to get by pulling away, like illumination, why are you pulling away? Ace of Wands in reverse, okay? Illumination from all of this. Ten of Cups, that you are the one that they love, Ace of Pentacles, and that things have to grow differently this time if they really want to come back. Okay, future energy here. Okay, what this person is creating here, Wheel of Fortune, it is Two of Cups, okay? They are realizing that they want to grow something here. You're holding those healthy boundaries, okay? So they're figuring it out here. Two of Pentacles, all right? They cannot get away from the energy that keeps pulling them towards you. The Star, 
you're the one for them. Okay, you're the one that keeps them up at night. You're the one that they see in their dreams. You're the one that they want to be with. Okay, the patience here, though, is that in their heads, in their thoughts, in their desires, they know that you are the one. You can see in their one hand here in the judgment that they're developing roots, okay? Where they're understanding it, right? But they're still their regular life that they have to deal with. They are going to come in differently here. Ace of Cups. They're in their emotions now. And it's created quite a tower for them, quite a surprise. And again, it's slowly dissolving the world around them. Slowly dissolving what they have come to think of as what life has to be, all right? So let's go ahead and let's pull um, from the universe here. Okay, the hangman in reverse. You're tired of waiting around, all right, for this divine counterpart. Okay, just because it's a divine counterpart does not mean that you have to be with them. So you are moving towards new love, despite the fact that you know you have this option here. I feel like in your heart of hearts, this is who you want, but you're not going to take them unless they come in on the up and up. All right, um, let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards here. Yeah, whoever new is coming in, okay, they're really going to help you out a lot. New supportive connections here. Um, it's very aligned, right? Okay, Eight of Pentacles here. They're coming in to really help you with your growth. Um, and I feel like it's someone that, again, I feel like maybe you're going to get set up on a date. But um, it's not going to click in that way, but you are going to be probably really like lifelong type friends. Thank you. Wolf Pathfinder, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Okay, you're going the route of the lone wolf. However, the lone wolf has a pack. You have people around you to support you, to help you with this, to guide you. But your love endures. Okay, this connection will endure through this. If it is meant for you, it will come around to you. But it's important for you to understand that... Um, you have standards, okay? You've created this inner strength, this boundary, where you're not going to let anyone come in and step on top of you again. Like, you are not someone's stepping stone is what I'm hearing. And I feel like that's how you felt with this person. You want to create, like they're, they're saying to me, you want to create a Picasso, okay? You don't want to create, you know, stick figures. <laughs> you want something beautiful here, not something that um, you hold dear. Like when your child creates that first, like those potato people, right? You may be like, oh, I love that. But after you've had a hundred potato people given to you, you're like, oh, cute. Right? But if you were given a Picasso, it would go up on your wall and you'd be like, that is my Picasso. That's what you want. You want your Picasso. Okay? So I hope this helps. I'm going to move into the extended. 
Um, look deeper into this, what's going on with this person. See if spirit will guide us on the new love, okay, that's coming forward. And then also, um, what's the lessons? What more you need to know? It'll be on Patreon and uh, Vimeo, and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here, all right? So much love, guys. Bye. All right, so what's the lesson that you are learning here, okay? Phoenix, you understand that ego's dark emotion when seeking love will burn away. So as you let go of the ego, the chase, okay, the wanting to be right, the um, expectations, all right, the darkness burns away, all right, as the phoenix. I know when I am feeling unloved, I often live in feelings of guilt, shame, and blame. Okay, so you are changing. You are finding that inner love and you are burning away, okay, that which no longer serves you.